Now, continuing with the radiology spotter series that we continue on DAMS YouTube channel. This is DAMS Daily YouTube channel in which we have an attempt to create small teaching videos for medical science including radiology. And you can follow this series on YouTube anytime. Now, continuing with this series, today I will present a small case, a small neuro neuroradiological case. And this is the history of the patient. This is a 18 month, this is a, we will, I'll show you the MRI brain of an 18 month old girl born out of uncomplicated pregnancy to parents who were first cousins, which is very important to realize, and first cousins, we know, and uh, development was normal till this time. She had sudden loss of head control, intellectual deterioration, onset of generalized tonic closures, tonic closures seizures, following a mild febrile illness with gastroenteritis. So we know we are looking at something like an inborn error of metabolism. We have consanguous marriage in the history. So once you have a history like this, and I, as a radiologist, when I see this, this is the T1 weighted MRI image of the brain. What do you think is the outstanding finding in this brain? Now, if you look at this T1 weighted image of the brain, you can see this is the area of the frontal lobe. This is the area of the cilium fissure. This is, what do you think? And this is the area of the insular cortex. Normally in brain, you know, th the insular cortex and the cilium fissure would have an operculated appearance. In this patient, the cilium fissure are wide open. They're wide open. And there's no, there's lack of opercularization of the insular cortex. And if I show you the T2 weighted image in this patient, what do you see? If you see the T2 weighted image in this patient, you will see high signal intensity in the chorid nucleus, lentiform nucleus. So you have high signal intensity in the basal ganglia and opened up sylvian fissures with lack of opercularization of the insular cortex. What do you think we are looking at? And the history suggestive of an inborn error of metabolism. What do you think we are looking at? These are the typical radiological findings of glutaric acidemia, glutaric aciduria type 1. We know this is a recessively inherited inborn er error of metabolism. And it is due to deficiency of mitochondrial enzyme glutaryl CoA dehydrogenase. And MRI is the investigation of choice for most of such neurological illnesses. And the MRI findings I want you to know are basal ganglia abnormalities like we had in this patient, incomplete opercularization of insular cortex, widening of ciliar fissure, CSS spaces anterior to the temporal lobes. These are characteristic of glutaric aciduria type 1 and are encountered in over 90% of such patients. You may also encounter white matter abnormalities including delayed myelination in such patients. And the take home messages, very important to realize such a appearance of sylvian fissure has also been called as bat wing appearance of sylvian fissure. Very very important. So now once you form a visual impression, this is the attempt of our institute to create teaching videos on YouTube Please follow us on DAMS Daily channel of YouTube for more such series. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Sumer Sethi. I'm a radiologist signing off. Thank you very much.